Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Diddy is being sued by former Danity Kane member Dawn Richard. She's alleging that Diddy groped her on numerous occasions, was physically violent with women, trapped her inside a locked car for two hours as a form of punishment, and threatened her life. Richard, who was also in the group Diddy Dirty Money alongside Diddy and singer Kalana Harper, filed suit on Tuesday in the Southern District of New York. The singer is also suing former Bad Boy Entertainment CEO Harvey Peer, who is facing two sexual assault lawsuits stemming from his time working for Diddy. From the time Richard met Combs while auditioning for his hit MTV series, Making the Band in 2004, until her music career with Combs abruptly ended in 2012, she claims in her lawsuit that Diddy manipulated her with mantras that submission to his depraved demands was necessary for career advancement, instilling in her the belief that such abuse and exploitation were required for female artists to succeed in the music industry. Her filing details dozens of disturbing encounters that she observed while in Combs orbit, including drug field parties with young women who seemed sluggish or passed out while Combs and his friends performed sexual acts on them. Richard claims that she believes Combs invited her to these parties as a test before he began to barge into her changing room and grope her bare buttocks and attempted to touch her breasts between 2009 and 2011. In one uncomfortable moment, Combs allegedly cupped Richard's breasts to guess her bra size and offered to give her fake titties for Christmas in 2010. However, the more Richard insisted calm sexual advances, the more he retaliated against her, she claims. Combs would allegedly deny her singing parts on songs and turn off her microphone during performances. Richard's lawsuit also supports allegation that Combs' ex-girlfriend singer Cassandra Cassie Ventura leveled against Combs in her SEX trafficking and abuse lawsuit. Richard claims she personally observed Combs choke and strangle Ventura and once saw him throw a scalding hot pan of eggs at Ventura before dragging her up the stairs of his Los Angeles home. When Richard says she tried to intervene and encourage Ventura to leave the relationship, Combs would threaten that he makes N-word go missing and I end people, the lawsuit alleges. As I've said so many times, everyone knew. If you've been around Diddy for one day, you will see some type of abuse somehow. He did not hide it. He didn't care to hide it. That's how reckless and careless he was. So anyone who's been around Diddy for one day, one time, you will know that he's abusive because he didn't care who was around. That's how untouchable he felt. He felt so untouchable. He didn't even hide his abuse. He didn't even care to hide his abuse, okay? So if anyone comes out and say, oh, I didn't know. I've never saw anything. It's a lie. The truth is not in them. But let's continue. In response to Richard's lawsuit, Combs attorney Erica Wolf said in a statement that Combs was shocked and disappointed by Richard's manufactured claims. You see, just like he lied about beating up Cassie and then the video came out. He's a liar, an evil liar. But let's continue. If Miss Richard had such a negative experience with making the band and Danity Kane, she would not have chosen to continue working directly with Mr. Combs for dirty money, nor should she have returned for the Making the Band reboot in 2020 or agreed to be featured on the Love album last year. It's unfortunate that Miss Richard has cast their 20-year friendship aside to try and get money from him. But Mr. Combs is confidently standing on truth and looks forward to proving that in court. This guy... So Dawn Richards' attorney, Lisa Bloom, says 
Like many women, Richard needed to extricate herself from the business relationship. She needed to think about what had happened to her. She needed to process it. And once Richard came to terms about her experience, Bloom says Richard had to speak out. She had to stand up. She had to seek justice. Bloom also fired back at Combs attempting to shame Richard for their previous working relationship, saying it is not up to women to give up career opportunities to dodge powerful men who behave badly. It is up to men to conduct themselves honorably or at a minimum legally in every workplace. No women should have to choose between her dignity and her career. In the light of Richard coming forward, Bloom added that her firm has heard from several potential new victims. Of course, even Richard's first encounter with Combs was unnerving, her lawsuit claims, alleging that Diddy showed a blatant disdain for young women auditioning for making the band, calling them fat ugly bees and holes throughout her time and Danity came and later Diddy Dirty Money. Richard claims that Combs would make degrading comments about her body and physical appearance. Yeah, I see why. Well, I knew. I knew that's why she changed her whole face. She had nose jobs and everything. But let's continue. Being on the show was intense and exhausting, Richard claims, with Combs subjecting the group to long rehearsal days, which sometimes begin in the middle of the night. Richard claims that Combs would sometimes hold meetings in his underwear, alleging that she was once summoned to his Miami home in 2008, where Combs refused to put on more clothes, saying, this is my effing house. After Danity Kane broke up in 2009, Combs selected Richard to be part of Diddy Dirty Money, a new trio he was forming alongside singer-songwriter Kalena Harper. Yeah, that hag. While recording their album, Last Train to Paris, Richard claims that she and Harper were present when Combs began yelling at then-girlfriend Cassie Ventura, while high on D-R-U-G-S, for apparently not cooking eggs the way he liked. I've been asking you for my ish. I can't stand you, B. You never do it right, Combs allegedly screamed before pushing Ventura up against a wall and choking her. Combs then threw the hot pan at Ventura, who fell to the ground in a fetal position, the lawsuit claims. The next day, Combs allegedly gave Richard and Harper flowers and tried to explain himself for 20 minutes before threatening them. Before threatening them, oh wow, this is normal. This is just what this is was this was just a lover's argument where no one was hurt. Combs told them, the lawsuit alleges, I'm giving you an opportunity. If you want to make it, you'll shut your mouth. If, if you say anything, there will be consequences. There were several other times Richard claims that Combs would physically assault Cassie Ventura, strangling and punching the young singer, doing a dinner with Neo Usher, and then CEO of Interscope Records, Jimmy Iovine, Combs punched Cassie in the stomach, causing her to cry and double over invisible, invisible pain and pain. The lawsuit alleges she was later escorted out of the restaurant while Combs socialized. Wow. Combs would later warned Richard to shut the F up and not meddle in his relationship after she encouraged Ventura to leave Combs, Richard's lawsuits claims. You see, everyone knew. At a restaurant, in front of Neo, Usher, Jimmy Iovine, that's how careless he was because guess what? He was screwing them too. He was sleeping with Usher, Neo, okay? They were his boy toys, okay? And I'm sure they got slapped around too. Combs also allegedly attempted to use physical violence against Richard. 
He once throwing a punch at her when she told him not to call her a B. Before Mr. Combs could strike her, Mr. Combs' bodyguard grabbed her, escorted her out of the studio, and forced her into the Bad Boy Records Bentley that was parked outside the lawsuit claims. Richard alleges she was locked alone in the freezing car for two hours, unable to exit because there were no interior door handles. She was only allowed out after she called her father, who raced to the studio and demanded for Combs to let her out. Later, Combs allegedly told Richard, you don't call your dad unless you are in the hospital. Wow. Other women were also allegedly abused in Richard's presence. Around 2005, Richard claims that she observed Kim Porter, the mother of Combs' children, emerge crying from Combs' recording studio with visible facial injuries, including a lacerated lip. Combs would routinely host parties where illegal D-R-U-G-S were supplied and young women, some who appeared under age, would be passed out as men performed sexual acts on them. The lawsuit alleges this is a buffet. Enjoy yourselves. Combs allegedly told his guests, this is what we do. This is how we party. Oh, yeah, sound just like him. Sound exactly like him. That is something he would say, most definitely. Richard is seeking restitution as well as compensatory and punitive damages, the amount to be determined at trial. Wow. And I believe her. I believe everything she said. And it's sad that, you see, his lawyer is now saying, well, if he's such a monster, why keep coming back to work with him? It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean anything. Because, like she said, he normalized it. That's all she saw when she, when she came. That's all she saw since 2004 doing Making the Band. That's all she saw. That's all he was doing is abusing. Abusing people. Abusing her. Everyone around him. So he normalized the abuse. So I could see why she... I mean, I wouldn't have done that. I would not have stuck around. Why? Right? But there are women who put their their career or their whatever they want, their fame, they want that and then they'll they'll put it first. They'll put it first in front of everything. But we all have a choice in life. We have choices and you have to live with the choices. So yeah, that's so you guys men should not be abusing women. Shouldn't be abusing each other, period. Women shouldn't be abusing men. Men should not be abusing men or women. So, but we live in an evil world, a demonic world. So, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like this video and please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support. It's free, okay? And I will see you on the next one. Peace.